Don't call it the Academy Awards, it's the Oscars this year. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen Bird for Star Pulse and we are live on the red carpet from the Oscars. We've got Seth MacFarlane hosting and we've had a surprising award show season and it culminates all into Hollywood's biggest night. Are you ready to win tonight? I'm just ready to have a drink is what okay, I'm ready to do. Luck. Dude, what are you going to do tonight to celebrate with me? Uh, mm, probably more singing. Why you choose the dress tonight? Because it's comfortable and... <laughs> <laughs> Exciting part about being here at the Oscars? Um, being able to put on man spanks <laughs> and, and look good in my Dolce and Gabbana. I want to see a beast of the Southern Wild win. What are you excited about tonight? Everything. To be yeah. here and to be able to enjoy it. I hear you're doing Annie. Is that true? Yes. Ah, so when do you start filming? Do you know? In like summertime. Are you, do you love the musical? Yes. We are so looking forward to you in that role. You're going to be amazing. Would you be on a show like American Idol? I'm just guessing. I don't know. I'd like to think I had the courage to do it. It's it's a big thing. I I, I never th I never forget that when they're standing in front of us singing. It's it's a it's a big thing. And why, Catherine, why did you choose this dress? Small dress. I just loved it. It's a it's a Zuhair Murad dress, and my friend the Rich Schwartz diamond and. Uh, I don't know, it's hard, you know, I've, I've got to compliment this guy. It's, it's, it's a hard act to follow. And what's your next project? Um, I am going to Germany to help Wes do his next film. And I have a film that's out on VOD just now called A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charles Swan III with Charlie Sheen. So I'm promoting that. I'm going to help Wes with his next one, and then I'm going to take a break. What's your favorite thing about shooting No? The favorite thing? Uh, getting to be uh, this story, I mean, just working with this fantastic director. I'm here to support my friend Robert De Niro and Jennifer and Bradley. Uh, I'm really excited about being here. I had to go to Bloomings real quick and get Tadashi. You know what? girls love Tadashi. It works. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, documentaries? Because I know you guys changed the rules a little bit this year. Well, it's the first time the entire Academy is voting for Best Documentary. How do you feel about that? Excellent. It's the way it should be. We were often like some secret room for like 80 years. Why did it take so long? <laughs> because I wasn't on the board. <laughs> All right, now when you started this project, I mean, did you ever think you would get to this this point? I mean, because Ben's been doing some amazing work, especially behind the scenes. No, you know, the truth is you, you don't really think about this stuff when you're making a film. You're just so, you're so busy. But uh, I'm really happy that we're here. Are you ready to win tonight? I always love to win. Do you feel like it's kind of been a timely issue? We've seen some pretty violent things, but are probably, you know, with guns and things like that, but probably are associated with mental illness, too. Well, I, I think it has been a very timely issue. And in fact, um, Senator Stabenow from Michigan introduced the Excellence in Mental Health Act before Congress last month and asked Silver Linings Playbook to be a part of that. We went to Washington. Bradley Cooper and David O. Russell participated in the press conference. And we're going to hopefully go back and provide testimony on the Hill. So that's you know, beyond anything we expected to get to have been a part of that conversation. And if the film in any way helps shed a light on these issues, it's just extraordinary. OK, next project, what is it? A Walk Among the Tombstones, uh, written and directed by Scott Frank, starring Liam Neeson, starts shooting in two weeks. And what's the one thing you hope about tonight for Oscars, besides a big win for Argo? Well, I hope that uh, everybody acquits themselves and goes home happy. Well, that's a wrap from the red carpet. It was an exciting night here at the Oscars. We had everyone from Hugh Jackman to George Clooney and Nicole Kidman all within a matter of minutes. Hope you had a fun ride with us. I'm Kristen Burt for Star Pulse. We'll see you next time.